Merry Christmas to you and to those that you love. On behalf of our pastoral team, our staff, our musicians, we are so excited to share the Christmas season with you and to share the upcoming Christmas services here at St. Luke. Just want to give you a few pieces of information, hopefully to reassure you, to help you, and to let you know what to expect when you come to us any one of the St. Luke services on December 23rd or 24th. First of all, we want to let you know that we have a lot of space here at St. Luke. So you can be reassured, you can count on the fact that there will be good social distancing here, that we are going to be wearing face coverings at all of our services. That won't stop us from singing. We are still going to sing our praises to the Lord. We're going to hear God's word as well. We're excited for you to come. We pray that you're blessed by that. I want to give you a word about our RSVP process. The question has come to us on a few occasions. Well, Pastor, I wasn't able to RSVP in time. What should I do? I want to give you the encouragement that if you RSVP'd for a service, please come to that service, to that time with the number of folks that you have signed up for. But I did want to let you know we do not intend on turning anyone away if it's possible for us to safely socially distance them in the sanctuary. 50 people is how many we had on our RSVP for each service. We can well socially distance them. So if you, if your family, someone that you know was not able to RSVP in time, you can encourage them to come to one of our services uh, and an elder will make sure that there is room, that there's space. We don't want to, anyone to miss out on the joy of Christmas here at St. Luke. Uh, so please, we'd ask that you come to the service you RSVP'd to, but if you weren't able to, there is still space for you. I want to give you a word about cleaning here and let you know that we're doing everything that we can to make this a safe and happy, worshipful environment for these Christmas services. One of our members has generously donated an industrial fogger to us that we'll be using after each service here in the sanctuary. So when you come... The sanctuary will have been cleaned but before you even get here to come to worship. But that comes with a request from us. We ask that you not come more than 15 minutes early to your intended service time so that we can clean, so that we can use that fogger, so that we can reset the space and make sure that we are as safe and as healthy as we possibly can. So we would ask that you not come more than 15 minutes before the service that you intend to come to, just so we can clean, reset the space. We are excited, but we have a unique challenge in front of us this year. 13 services over two days on the 23rd and 24th. We are excited, we're overjoyed, but we're thinking about things uh, and needing to, to be concerned about these things that maybe we haven't in previous years. So we would ask that you help us out in that way and not come too early so that we can clean the space so that it's ready for you, ready for your family to come to worship. We are so excited to share these services with you. We're ready to light the Christ candle. We're ready to sing Silent Night and to hear Luke chapter 2. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Not the year 2020 and not all of those years ago in Bethlehem on that night in that little town of Bethlehem. The everlasting light shined. In Jesus Christ, our newborn King, come join us, worship with us. O come all ye faithful, St. Luke, we love you. We'll see you in just a couple of days for Christmas worship. Thanks.